you can imagine I was uh, impressed. At that time, everybody in the world knew. The most powerful, decisive men sat in the White House, not in London, or industrial power, financial, was in the hands of America, American president at that time. So, of course, I was uh, uh, impressed. Entering Roosevelt study. Again, I remember vividly. I saw the, a lord of humanity. Roosevelt, unbelievably, he projected power, majesty, large face. His gestures were just uh, gestures of lord of humanity. Expressions, beautiful accent. Well, he said that he uh, knows about me, and uh, uh, mostly he asked me questions, many questions, on, uh, jumping from point after point. Uh, I had opportunity to answer, uh, as far as the Jewish problem was concerned. Uh, I, again, emphasize this point, that, Mr. President, there is a difference. The Germans want to destroy our intelligence, our leading classes. They want to make out of the Poles slaves after uh, uh, having won the war. With the Jews it is different. They want to destroy the entire nation. The conversation lasted one hour and a half. Cichanowski, who was on the left, did not interrupt. Then it, it came the moment that he made a gesture, like hand, you know, giving me. And I remember, I got up, some sort of uh, inspiration came to me, to uh, uh, squeeze out of him something definite, because he was so general in everything he was saying. And I said, Mr. President, I'm going back to Poland. Uh, my leaders will know the President of the United States received me. Mr. President, everybody will ask me, what did the President tell you? Mr. President, what am I going to answer? And now I remember every gesture <laughs> of him. You will tell your leaders that we shall win this war. The guilty ones will be punished for their crimes. He had this accent, majestic. Justice, freedom shall prevail. American people are friendly to your country. They will help after the war. You will tell your nation that they have a friend in this house. Hmm? I got up and bowed. <laughs> Czechanowski was joking afterwards. He was afraid that I will break the, the desk <laughs> if I bowed. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. I reached the door walking backward. Roosevelt projected majesty.